How's it going YouTube? Here working on a little project. So you guys can see here, I'm about to install some more 240 volt outlets. So you guys can see we have our L630R, L stands for locking, 30 the amperage, R means it's a receptacle. Um, it's 250 volts and I'm gonna be using this instead of the 120 for my miners see so as you can see this little guy goes in here like this and then the cover goes over it like so and I'm gonna go ahead and install this real quick I'm gonna be using some 10-2 uh, wire this particular wire is rated for 30 amps which is what I'm gonna be using it for 30 amps I'm gonna be using a dedicated 30 amp breaker for the job I'm gonna plug in this PDU it's a power delivery unit and I'm gonna run most of my miners off of this thing so I'll be back once everything's up and running alright guys so I have the 30 amp breaker installed right here and everything's up and running I have my 240 volt outlet down here I decided to leave this just right here um, right next to the box since the PDU cable is pretty long and uh, it's long enough to reach where I need it to go so it's perfectly fine right here and uh, everything's up and running properly and it all works uh, the way it should so that's good so uh, I'm about to go show you guys over there the numbers I'm drawing and give you guys a quick rundown of how the thing works alright guys so I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of everything I'm running on the PDU right now just to give you an idea of the difference between the 120 outlets and the 240s I have 8 RX 550s right here now I'm gonna be doing a separate video on these cards they're really awesome budget cards and I'm just gonna give you guys a rundown of how to do all this in a future video um, I also have I believe seven one two three yep seven RX uh, Vega 64's and then next to that I have five Vega Frontiers and a single GTX 1070 Ti now I'm running all three of these miners so all three of these on the right bank of the PDU so as you guys can see right here we have two separate banks and each bank has a internal breaker so I believe the limits 12 well it is 12 because you have 30 amps you're only supposed to go up to 80 percent which is 24 amps for the entire PDU itself so that gives you 12 amps per bank and I'm currently running all of these cards on a single bank that in itself is really really amazing it's awesome I would highly recommend doing this just to guys just to give you guys like a reference Running a single rig with 8 RX Vega 64s caps out a regular 120 volt uh, 20 amp breaker in your box. Just to give you guys a comparison 11 amps, 3 miners, and I still have the entire left bank. I have a single lonely rx vega frontier over here i'm doing some testing on it i want to see just how high i can get it to hash before it crashes just messing around with it i do plan on eventually moving the pdu up here somewhere in the wall um i don't really like the way it looks on there and uh it's kind of in the way for all the cables and whatnot and uh, here I'm just going to show you guys the type of cable you use. So it's basically C13 to C14 power supply cables. This guy right here goes into your 
power supply just like any other uh, cord I guess just the regular old I believe it's C13 I could be wrong and then you have your C14 end which goes into the PDU right there and that's pretty much all there is to it it's just a regular power cord that lets you run 240 volts I would definitely recommend going 240 it's almost a necessity you almost have to do it it just gives you the freedom to add way more equipment with the amp service you have but um, that's about it for this video guys just a quick little vlog showing you guys what what I've been up to I, I will be doing a quick little walkthrough of all my miners and uh, the upcoming videos and I'll show you guys exactly what I have any other miners that are not here yet that are arriving soon and I'll just kind of walk you guys through everything I still have two miners upstairs and I believe another two on the way so this entire bank right here is going to be filled with miners and a single 30 amp 240 volt PDU is going to be able to handle all of that that's awesome in my book thanks for watching guys peace